What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you to come back and check this new video. Um, this time I want to talk to you about Keyboard Tester. So this is a Keyboard Tester, as you can see. Um, so with these things you can test the cable. Um, different kind of cable uh, and nowadays there is um, a new new tester that you can check also cut fiber cable as well or B and C cable it's something that uh, I think quite a lot of you should buy I'm gonna link um, on the description of this video a couple of uh, uh, a few moments later of this tester uh, that I'm gonna show you now uh, maybe if you want to be interesting to buy just follow the link and you can buy it straight away I want to show you how they works um, and I'm gonna show you the one that I own that is the Beringer CT100 and as you can see and I showed you before you've got the XLR the jack RCA phono if you want to call it that way um, the MIDI up and in the 6.3 or the 3.5 uh, mini jack and uh, this is the basic one and this is the one that I own it's really good I like it so I don't see any problem with that but I'm gonna buy a new one and the one that I will buy is this and I'm gonna explain you why because as you can see on this one you can also check your Spigon cable okay you can check your XLR cable your jack cable and bear with me you can check your cut5 cable as well nowadays that we use a lot cut5 cable is really really important to have one of these in your pelly case but this version you can also check i mean i'm gonna do i'm gonna do a test review about that but you can check usb a to usb b this is quite interesting but when i was doing my my research this morning i find out that there is this company it's called millennium that have created something even even better and i tell you why you can check your xlr to five pin okay I mean, if you are not lumpy, you maybe don't need that, but it can be something handy. You can check your XLR cable, number one. You can check your speaker, 3.5, TLS jack, RGA 11, RGA 45 days, cut 5. And you can check also your BNC cable. That's something that uh, for me, that I do quite a lot of um, job where I, I'm involved to do video stuff, it can be really, really handy. I'm thinking to buy maybe this one as well, or maybe I'm gonna buy the Bringer and this one, I'm gonna do a giveaway, I'm gonna do a review of both of them, I may will do it. And also the other cool things is that you can divide the two sides and literally you can have one side of the beginning of your um, your signal so let's say near your desk and the other side where is your uh, your microphone or i don't know in near your amplifier or at the back where is your speaker and you can check if this cable that cable is working um, and the same is for cut five so i think that this works quite good for what we do uh, there's two battery in here as you can see so you need to have two battery because it's two independent tester and after there is the palmer one there is another good one there is almost the same things as i said in all of them let's see xlr speaker um midi jack and uh, the rca on funnel so now let's go on the practical things if we go on this side uh, I'm gonna show you, so this is my ring, the TEF. Um, I'm gonna put this in cable test mode. I'm gonna take my XLR cable in here. And there we go. You can see pin one, pin two, and pin three, three lights. And there's also the ground and the sheet. So um, I wanna just um, do a quick, easy explanation of these three pins, just for someone that doesn't know what they mean. If we talk about um, XLR connector, um, pin 1 is your, um, your uh, shield or your ground, pin 2 is your positive and pin 3 is your negative. Um, if we talk about jack-to-jack -jack cable, um, the first one is the sleeve, the second one is the tip and the third one is the ring. Okay, so that's how, how that works. If you want to see something big, it looks like this. Uh, they are called TRS, by the way. Uh, and there is also the TRRS, 
that it means there is a slave ring ring and tape these are more common to use in uh, let's say headset with headphones that's the main common things that they are used for um, and uh, I have also as I said a small one 2.5 I'm gonna show you on this camera as well so you can have uh, an idea basically and we're gonna test also this so we have tested this uh, just a quick explanation when he say on the tested grounded shield it means uh, I just show you on the on the manual so to make sure everyone is happy it means that XLR out shield is connected to the pin one of the slip signal so just to make sure that everyone is happy with that. Anyway, in here, you can see all the other things. There is also um, a test tone that you can select. One kilohertz to 400, the 400 is off. Um, and explaining you how it works. Now, just for the purpose of the video, let's go and check also. Let's go with the, with the jack to XLR cable. And as you can see in here, Three red lights, all nice and easy. Cable works. And uh, let's go with the 3.5 jack on this side. And if we go here, as you can see, one, two, three, all the three lights off, on, sorry. <laughs> and uh, it's all working perfectly. So guys, that's it for this video. As I say, this is a must to have on your Pelly case. Um, you can buy these on the Millennium or the other Bringer version, it's up to you. Uh, I'm gonna leave all the link in the description so you can check wherever you wanna do it. Uh, and uh, thank you so much for watching me this time. Uh, I hope that you enjoyed the video and if you enjoyed the video, please thumbs up. And uh, if you're not subscribed, as most of you that watch my video are not, uh, I don't know why, you should subscribe to the channel uh, so you will help me a lot to grow the channel and give you more content and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks.